Bus is still starting up. Purring well. Oh, nope, scratch that. She forgot something. There she goes. So anyway, I'm gonna try holding the camera up here so you're not looking at my nostrils. Um, so today, oh God, I'm, let me just tell you how excited I am. It's the day after, after Thanksgiving and I finally get to work on the bus like three days in a row. I'm so freaking excited about this. I've been wanting to just, I've been obsessing over just wanting to stop and like working up the way this year. So yeah, I've been obsessing about wanting just to work on the bus and just be able to concentrate on it for the next few days. Oh, here she goes. Bye, babe. So yeah, I get to get to straight up concentrate on the bus for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm really excited. And so what we've uh, what we've been working on, just to give you guys a little intro, I think you guys have seen about the cork underlayment, which is finished, which you can see behind me. But right now, it's interesting trying to figure out the processes of the bus, trying to figure out your list and what what needs to be done in what order. And so for us, since we are concentrating on being able to move into this by the spring, so we've got December, January, February, March, four months, give or take, before we want to be moving into it. And we know we won't be done because we can only work on the weekends and sometime during the days, you know. Um, we're going to have four months to get it ready to be livable. So what we want is a place to sleep. We want a place to cook food, um, to store our things. Um, just the, the bare necessities and so what we've decided to start on is the bed somewhere we can sleep and so <clears throat> if you look through here I'm beginning to build out the framing for the bed right here in the corner and there's the wood I haven't got very far as you can see but I'm hoping I can get this finished up today for the most part um, Juby actually printed off this cool picture off the internet and this is what I'm going on just a picture which is kind of it's a little bit, it's not exactly the easiest when you just go straight off of a picture from one particular angle, but I think we'll be able to pull it off. It's not difficult really. Um, but here's the picture. And so the idea here is, is that our bed can actually slide into a couch so that when we're not sleeping on it, we'll have another chill space with a little bit more room for us to hang out. And so you can see this is the sliding portion that slides out to the bed. This area over here, what we're gonna do from this portion right here, we're gonna make this on hinges so that we can open it up when it's in the couch position. And the inside of this will be storage. Now for the rest of this, from this line backwards, that's gonna be our, kind of like you'd call our garage. And so we'll be able to store different types of things here. And um, when the couch is slid back, and we've got the mattress turned up in a, an angle. This will be a coffee table, so we'll make this into sort of a nice, I don't know, I'm not sure quite what we're gonna use yet, but it will be on a hinge so we can open up and store stuff in there. And so anyway, that's what I'm gonna be working on today. Shouldn't take me too long, hopefully. And then there'll be more painting of the roof. Um, we've got somebody who's gonna be donating Blue Jean insulation, which is super helpful, it saves us a lot of money, and it's a sustainable product, or recycled product, so that's really great. And um, what else? We're gonna be picking up pallets this weekend to process those and start sanding those down and staining those so we can put them up against the side walls here. Um, and so yeah, so we've got plenty to do. And then um, after we get those projects close to finish, we'll start probably start transitioning to the electrical because I really wanna go ahead and get that knocked out and start running those wires so we can bring some appliances in here and start framing out and just concentrating on you know carpentry work and things like that. So that's me today and I will try to remember I'm really bad about taking videos in between, but I'll try my best. It's me and you today. We got this. Peace.
He looks good. It's gonna be so nice. And on a nice day, we can be like. What's she doing, babe? Just cutting some wood. I'm trying not to cut the two by four in the book. We're readjusting our bed design to fit in the corner since we now put the back walls on. We point at it so you can see. Oh, yeah. So we put this corner piece in, and so originally our bed frame was going to fit in there on that corner. Now that we decided to put the piece of wood there, we gotta cut the corner off our bed. So here we go. Oopsie daisies. Yeah. Oops. I can just sand this there. Nice! Whoa. <laughs> it's, a it's a little janky right now, but once we get it fit into the wall, it'll look way better. All right. I'm not gonna slip and fall. Yesterday, no, the day before, I slipped on this plywood and like scissored my vagina on the back end of the door as I was slowly, slow motion falling out the back door because the door was open. And vagina? almost, you can say vagina on YouTube. Punani, is that more appropriate? <laughs> um, yeah, almost just like, it's four. It's really far, but I'm not going to slip again. I'm going to let Justin do it this time. This side you like better. has poop on it. This side. Let's do this side. Yeah. Remember there's going to be stuff on it anyways. It. Okay. Don't slip. Scissor! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, easy. 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 What are you doing, babe? Trying to move it. I don't know why you have it like right where you're gluing. Just move it out of the way for you so you have plenty of space to glue. Oh, you're gluing onto the wood. I think you're gluing onto the cork. I should figure that would be easier. You just slide it. Multi purpose glue. But it doesn't work. 